Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, you know, in today's video I will be tackling something that usually appears in mock tests, which is graphs. Now, the thing is about graphs, it varies between the person, you know, if they're really good at graphs or not. And because I, like, in nearly every single mock test I found there were graphs in there, and because it was like such a cool thing in the, you know, eleven plus mock tests, I was thinking let's, let's do a video about um, bar graphs. Not bar graphs, we'll be doing pie charts, line graphs, pictograms, everything. So let's go on to it. Here, as you can see, it's graphs, information, and how to do it. So first up are pictograms. Now, the thing, the reason why it's called pictograms is because it's got pic, which stands for picture. Because usually in pictograms, we have pictures, which represent amount. So as you can see, a smiley face equals two people. Now, what you have to usually do is basic multiplication so you just need to use base, basic multiplication to usually solve this so if we use basic multiplication as you can see one smiley face is two people so it's one two now now if i use my multiplication i think two times two is four so that we know there are four right now however we come across a half of a smiley face so now if now this is the thing if there's a half a picture then i then usually the amount it's worth is half so as you can see this is half so this is half so the amount is two people if we half it that's one person so as you can see that's one person now this part uses addition not multiplication so yeah basic addition two you need to know so four plus one I, is five so you do five there so we know five people like football out of the survey next we go on to tennis now again using my both basic multiplication skills i will do it so one two three four so there are four smiley faces so four times two is eight so i know there are eight people right now then we have half a smiley face again now if you remember if it's half the picture we half the amount it's worth so half of two people is one person so there's one person now eight now as you can see again we need to use basic addition so eight plus one is nine so we know nine people out of the survey like tennis next up we move on to golf so as you can see that's one per that one smiley face one times two is two so we know two people and now if it's half of it we half the amount like i said which is one person so one now using my addition skills two plus one mm -hmm. is three so now we'll do it so as you can see now we've written down all the you know contents that how much there is so if i was given a question like what's the most popular sport i would be like tennis and if it's like what's the least popular you know sport i would be like golf so you know it's really nice to write down how much you know the data or data next up we're going to move onto bar charts as you can see the reason it's called bar charts is because there are bars and it's in the chart yeah so here we here we have a survey of like pets so as you can see there's a cat now using this we look at the top of the bars as you can see the top as you can see lines up with the 10 so now we think now I, there are going to be 10 people 10 people who like cats so we write a 10 there so we know 10 people out of the survey like cats and own a cat. And then next up is a dog. Now we look up and now we do little dashes and we check. As you can see, it lands right here. Now this doesn't have any number on. So using that, we will use our skills. So that's 10 people. So there'll be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and lands here. So we know there are 40 people who like dogs and own a dog. Next up, we're going to fish. So we're going to just go there. And as you can see, it lands there. Now we know um, each line is worth one right, one unit. So we know 10 pick when one is nine. So nine people like fish, have like fishes, and they have a pet fish. So then we know this. Again, using this, if you write down information, will be really helpful. So let's say if you're given a question, you already have the answers in front of you. So you can easily answer it. Next up, we're going mm -hmm. to line graphs. So this gets a little bit complicated. It's not really complicated. You have to just practice and you understand. As you can see, right now it looks very uh, 
um, confusing, but don't worry, it's easy. So first of all, you need to, you can you should draw so you can annotate. So you can just do this. You can draw lines. You can draw lines. Just you can draw on it because in the actual M plus exam, there'll be two separate things. There'll be the answer booklet where you write down all your answers. There'll be the workbook booklet with the questions, and you can do all your working out on it. So don't worry, annotate it. So about drawing, then you make notes. I'll tell you about that later. So first, we're going to do. So let's say this is a trek, um, like they climb up a mountain. So they start at, so it's 2 p.m. So we'll look, if it's 2 p.m., let's see how far. As you can see, these are all kilometers. So always look here, um, this is kilometers. So it'll give you what you know, what you need to know, how, what units this is in. And you can tell this is time, because it says 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., like that, so you understand. So if you're given a question if when it's 2 p.m. how far have they climbed up the mountain you will be able to draw as you can see 2 p.m. you draw up there's a cross there so then you go to the sideways and you see here now because it's kilometers we know this is equivalent to two kilometers so we know by 2 p.m. they've climbed up two kilometers if you're given another question like um, let's say oh yeah if it lines up to around here midway as you can see, this is going up in twos, so we need to just half and count up in one. So we, you can figure this out by going, this is one. So if you're going like that, you can fill up the empty spaces by doing this. So you'll get a more accurate thing, like how, you know, where it lands on. So let's say they've climbed seven kilometres. How much time, you know, when, what, at what time did they climb seven kilometres? So you can see 7, so you can again line it up with that and draw down, you'll see it's 2.30pm. So now you know it's 2.30pm. Now you can use this again, um, I'll give you one more example, let's just say here, 3pm how much do you climb, you draw a line up to this mark and you draw there, so 10 kilometers they've climbed up in within 3pm. Then you might notice this thing here, as you can see there, that's either if the person or something is still and it's not doing anything at all then it will be like it's a little bit hard to explain so as you can see they're still stuck on 10 they're still on 10 meters so it doesn't mean they're climbing more up or then they're, they're going down it still means they're still at 10 so you can assume maybe they're taking a little break while trekking the mountain or going somewhere else there might be a little pause or like a break or they might just stay still and stuff so you have to understand that line means they're doing nothing at all. And if they're going down, I guess that means they're going down the mountain. So that's line graphs. Um, what well, my tip is, you know, just keep on practicing line graphs. It might be confusing at first. You get more confusing stuff later on. That time you should really start to draw. Trust me, some questions might get a little bit hard where you, you have to use a ruler and then you can match up the point to there. It gets kind of complicated later on. So make sure you, you get into that habit of drawing and making notes. Again, making notes has dealt with many um, graphs. So, as you can see, next we're going on to pie charts. This is, again, a pretty nice thing to do. This is like a round percentage. They usually draw a circle. And it, let's just say, out of, let's say there are 100 people in the survey. Um, yeah, no, no, no yeah let's just say around that so what you can do is this um one minute i'll just change that to 10 percent okay that's better so what you can do is if let's just say there are 40 percent of like cucumbers using your percentage skills um 40 percent of 100 is 40. so it's just really really simple let's just say how many people like cucumbers you will see that this is equal to 40 percent then you'll be able to figure it out this is really easy you don't really need lots of practice on that you have to know your percentages really well with this so yeah that's pie chart so i'll quickly revise through all of this just to make sure so this is a pictogram it uses pictures if it's split in half it's half the amount it's the actual whole thing is worth next is line graph remember what i said you follow on up and once you reach something like a point then you go sideways as it's like it's like a coordinate graph coordinates the x and y coordinates but replace the num but don't think of it as coordinates think of it like that 
then yeah we've got this is break remember that means they're doing nothing they're probably taking a break like that so i'll quickly do something let's say let's see how long their break lasts for as you can see here it starts at 3 p.m then look if you can look here it goes down to around 3 30 so you can assume it's 3 30 then you can subtract um 3 p.m with 3 30 30 minutes so you can assume they took a 30 minute break so like that you can calculate how much break if it says how long do they have a break for or something and then we've got um bar charts again if you look at the top then go and match it up with whatever there is again it's like coordinates but don't think of it as coordinates as you can see they can line up there and if you've got missing values again you can fill in you can go one two three four five like that with over here so then we have the pie chart which we just explained the thing is keep on trying with all these graphs then you will be amazing at it so yeah just keep on practicing your you know your charts and graphs so yeah that's all i have for today if there's anything else you want me to do make sure you comment down below and i will do it in my next video so i hope you all enjoyed this video if it really helped please make sure to like and subscribe because if you do that it will show me lots of support and it will be better so share this video and yeah hopefully thank you all for watching bye